here. We made it to Ferrar School. We're spending the night here again. This is a safe room. So we're going to be out checking a lot of stuff out for you and hopefully get a lot of evidence. So let's uh, get started. Hey, and welcome. This is the Beaver. Oh, wait, sorry, Jerry. I didn't just want to, you know, a little hazing for the group. Golly, Wally. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, don't you just love us? St. Croix Paranormal here. Try to introduce Jerry here, our new guy. He just dressed as a nurse because he likes to play one on TV. Um, so we are going to talk about Ferrar <laughs> Elementary today and uh, everything that we experienced while we were there. Yeah, so as we were walking up the stairs to the third floor where there was no electricity in this school, um, we were asking questions and getting responses on our K2 meter. So we stopped and started asking more questions and um, getting a lot of activity on the K2 meter and um, took questions, yes and no questions, um, which was really exciting. Um, it would light up all the way to the, for yes, all the way to the red. Um, and then if we assumed it was a no, if it didn't light it up at all. And, uh, what kind of questions were we asking? Do you remember? Any other? Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. We just asked if it was a boy or a girl, um, what she kind of liked to play with, things like that. On the fun one I had, we were in a different room. And we're just kind of messing around. Chris was being the student, and I was the teacher. And I basically said, unless you want a pop quiz, you got to light this thing up. And all of a sudden, boom, that light went off. So apparently, even when you're dead, you don't want to take a pop quiz. <laughs> so um, we will take a look at those clips, because it's uh, pretty interesting. And keep in mind, there was no electricity on that floor. So there's absolutely no interference from anything. So if that meter's going off, it is more than likely a paranormal occurrence. Sweetie, if whoever's walking by, hi. What's your name? No electricity up here. Can, okay, can you stop blinking for just a minute? I want to ask you a question. Are you a child? Light it up. Thank you. Are you a boy? Light it up. Are you a girl? Can you light it up? Thank you. We appreciate that. Um, do you like Barbie? Do you know what a Barbie is? You do? Krista brought Barbies today. We brought a doll and we put it in the auditorium. Would, are you excited? Do you want me to go get the Barbie? Okay, we'll get the Barbie in just a minute. Um, can you possibly talk and tell us your name? Okay, can you stop back up a little bit and quit blinking? Thank you. Do you like to play ball? Come closer to light it up. You do like to play ball. It's either that or we're going to do a pop quiz. Take your pick. Light the light up, sir. Thank you. I know you didn't want a pop quiz. <laughs> All right, I'll read a couple pages of my main book. The great experience that Jerry and I had in the auditorium, which is on the third floor, was I was sitting on the stage. Jerry was just off the stage. I had my camera sitting on the table, aimed off stage just checking, you know, provoking and trying all of our, you know, techniques to investigate. And I, I said, if there's that girl who I saw in the photo, would she show herself and boom, right on cue, the bright orb just boom, poof, walked all the way across, you know, just out in the, the audience. And I just followed that orb all the way across, it got bigger and bigger, and then it disappeared into the camera that we had tucked in the corner. I mean, it was a great... A great piece of video we can show you. And obviously you guys had to do a lot to uh, get the ghost to appear for you guys. Well, it was uh, an elementary school, so I was trying to provoke them with uh, some, some kid songs and some kid noises. Obviously it was not American Got Talent competition. Dude, it's going up. I'm up to a point six. Oh, I just got the chills. Holy crap, it just got cold. Yeah. 
Wow, it really got cold there. There was a little girl in here, I know, for sure, because I saw a photo of a little girl resting her head on another girl's shoulder. A little girl spirit in here. Oh, sh <laughs> what I just saw on this camera. There was a shimmering light at locker level, and it just went across. I just saw it myself. I just took a picture. Point 0.5. We're getting something. Yeah. Do you saw that one? It was right out there. That was not a flash. 2.9. Lammers. That little girl's here. The other really, really cool orb clip that we got um, was actually involved you too. So if you want to talk about that, Steve. That, that, the clip that she's talking about is Jerry and I were on the very far end of the, the second level. And we had already put you know the flashlight on the stairs and tried to get them to twist it and this and that. And, so we're just, you know, basically taking our flashlights, looking in the rooms, trying to get something to act, and all of a sudden, our millimeter was spiking all the way up to like a 3.6, 3.7. I said, you know what, we're getting some activity, and then right after that, I heard a voice come out of one of the rooms right behind me. I said, Jerry, did you hear that? He couldn't hear it, and then we started to walk around there, and then everything kind of went dead on us. It's just, it's one of those great experiences where everything's happening, and then, Oof, it kind of let down. Yeah, kind of was. But it was really cool um, with that particular footage that you actually hear them out in the hall that something's going on. You see an orb, Steve turns, and he hears the voice where the orb just was. So to us, that kind of correlated some sort of paranormal phenomenon that occurred at that moment. Did you hear that? Yeah. Something threw, something got thrown. What was that? One point four, one point eight, two point oh, Lammers, we're getting close. Two point oh, one point nine. Is there somebody here that wants us down here? There's a voice in here. Dude, there was just a voice in there. There's somebody in here? We were trying to get the kids pushed down the stage or down the stairs. And what I find interesting about the clip, unfortunately, our new camera gal was a little too close to the other camera, so there's a glare. But in the background, you see two white orbs come dancing around, which really is kind of interesting. Most of our orbs that we show you are put to music just because you don't really need to hear a lot of the background noise. Um, but the two clips, so we'll just take a look at that clip of the car and you'll be able to see that it was behind us uh, the whole time while we were trying to get them to interact with us. Can you push our car down the stairs? If I was a kid, man, I used to throw stuff down the stairs all the time just for fun. It was great. I still throw stuff down the stairs. See, it's still fun as an adult. I do it, but then I gotta go get it.
were there, um, we were just headed down to the gym, and as we were coming down, Steve was coming down the stairwell, and he stopped. I'm like, dude, you gonna go? And what was going on with you, Steve, there? It was just weird. It's, uh, it felt like somebody hit me in the side of the head just when we got to the bottom landing of the stairs. We're curving around, getting ready to walk into the gym, and it just felt like somebody hit me right in the side of the head, and I kind of paused and said, man, my head is. Somebody just hit me in the head. Looked around, there's nothing there. And you got a paranormal headache? <laughs> Try extra separate. Yeah. You gotta go down? No. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Maybe you need to step outside. No. Gary. You don't have an aneurysm, are you? No. Jerry, we need medics. What's that? Medics? Steve said something just hit him in the head. Something hit you in the head? I don't know. I felt all of a sudden it's just boom right there. I don't know what it was. I didn't feel an impact. Just... Did, did you um, another thing that happened, just from personal experiences that we had, um, I had gone, you and Steph were up on the third floor. I took off to go downstairs and get something. As I was coming back up, I had the most intense feeling that somebody was actually walking behind me. I got the really, really deep chills, and I just said, hey, back off, quit following me. So we'll take a little look at that clip, although you can't really see it, but you can just hear me explaining to everybody when that happened and how. Somebody's following me. I did not like that at all, you guys. Can you ask questions? Somebody is following me up onto the second floor. I got the hugest chill all the way down my spine. And by myself, and I'm like, do not follow me. And we did get a ton of orb photographs. However, this was the orb master that evening, so I'm going to hand it over to you, Jer. Uh, in one frame in the gym, I think I counted about 15 orbs. It, uh, it was an orb filled night. It was really impressive. Uh, I would say at least every third or fourth picture there was at least one orb. Uh, most of them were in the gym and in this, the, uh, the auditorium with the stage and the room just adjacent to that, there were several orbs uh, spotted in all of those areas. So it might be an orb magnet, but... Not so, not so much chick magnet, though. <laughs> right, right.
What kind of sports? There's a bad person here. Show yourself. So we were doing all the EVP analysis. We had, you know, digital voice recorders spread out throughout the building, all the way from the gym to the first floor, second floor, all the way to the principal's office. And we had a 12-hour recording time, went through all of it. There's no sounds except for every once in a while you'd hear scratching on the, on the chalkboard. You could hear like a desk move. And we don't want to use that for our evidence just because even though we know we were all asleep, we don't need people coming in there and saying, oh, you guys are just scratching on the scratch board. Except There's for the old guy who had to pee in the middle of the night. Oh, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there was, some, there was some definitive sounds. There was some knocking and banging. But we can assure we were all asleep in, you know, the little safe house area. So there's nothing going on. We have that for proof. Yeah, we got a lot of, yeah, like you said, tapping, like somebody's tapping on a desk. Um, the chalkboard thing, what I found interesting about that is about 3 in the morning, I think that was when we decided to sign the chalkboard. Sign it? Oh. Yeah, when we were signing the chalkboard. It's that same, remember how I was very irritating with the Oh, yeah, the squeaky chalk. Yes, yeah. very squeaky chalk. And um, we got that same sound later, but being as that, uh, again, we were sleeping, but don't want to use that as a complete sound. We do have one clip that I know for a fact that this was after he came back from being outside, um, and that is the one and only, and of course the tape ended at that time. But why don't we take a look at, listen to that, and you will hear the little ticks that we kind of heard throughout the whole night. Can you, do we have chalk? Yeah. Do you like using chalk? Thank you, this is Steve. This They're is answering our friend questions. Steve. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, it's a little girl. Okay, okay stop, stop please. Me. If we gave you chalk, can you write your name on one of the blackboards? Is there a blackboard in this room? There is, but you can't ask him to do that. Do you know how to write your name with chalk? these yahoos here tried to freak us out because I had ran into them earlier during the night and we had heard a growl or they had heard a growl and they tried to be little sly dogs there and try to pull one off on us and, and you walked in on a bit you Well she peeked around the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah she did. Hey where were the boys? Poking a little fun. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at that clip because I we really thought we heard something at first. I think the sensitivity level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just we're just training staff for new girl. That's right. Let's get him. Did you just hear that? That like growl? Yes. Yeah, I heard that. Because the boys just heard that in the gym. The boys are in here. <laughs> <laughs>
Hopefully you enjoyed the evidence that we brought you to, to you today, and we would like to welcome Jerry, a.k.a. The Beeve, to our group. Yeah, Jerry. Hey. What do you think of the group so far, Jerry? Uh, you suck! <laughs> A lot of fun. Very interesting stuff. Uh, having fun uh, trying to uh, disprove things that we've, we've seen, and there are just some things that have no explanation for it. Uh, very intriguing. Well, thanks for joining us on today's show and have a good night. Some kid noises. Obviously, it was not American Got Talent competition. I do that really bad. <laughs> where do I see it? It obviously was not American. No, where? Where? It doesn't matter. I'll edit it in. I'm just going to see you. Where do you want the sentence to be put? <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Don't hold the paper when you do it. I'm going to read it. Just say, obviously, it wasn't American. Obviously, it's not American Got Talent audition. America's Got Talent. Yeah. You said American. So? <laughs> Obviously, this is an American Got Talent competition. I can't say it. Come again. America's. America. Obviously, it's not an America's Got Talent. Oh, jeez. Well, you can't do that. It's going to be. Obviously, not an American Got Talent audition. You can just use that. Obviously, not an America's Got Talent audition. Is that really a tongue twister? Yes. How is that a tongue twister? <laughs> so I'm laughing. Okay. Honestly, not an American got talent. Is that an right? American? <laughs> Same Wait, who's looking at it? Same damn sense. Let's just say it. <laughs> Obviously, not an America's Got Talent audition. There you go. Oh, she got it. I don't know. I don't know. All right. 